Hello friends, Sergio Gomez here, and this is episode one of Breakfast with Sergio. <laughs> this is a live show I decided to do uh, now that I'm back in Facebook Live. So uh, today I have for breakfast oatmeal, which looks delicious, and I can't wait to get started on this. But I want to answer the question of when should I make an exhibition proposal? That is a great question that I get asked quite often. When is a good time? to create an exhibition proposal for me. And well, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should always have an exhibition proposal. I think as an artist, you should always have exhibition proposals because it's something that can help you open doors. Exhibition proposals have opened a lot of doors for me as well over the last few years. So I'm gonna give you five reasons why, if you're an artist, you should always have an exhibition proposal ready to tweak and send out within hours. If you have to sit down and write one and it will take you a whole week, you know, then you're not ready. So the first reason you should have an exhibition proposal or why you should have one is if you just completed a body of work. So if you just completed a body of work within the last maybe week or, or the last month or so on, that's a great time to start an exhibition proposal. I mean, really, that's a great time to get started. All you have to do is, you know, focus on that body of work that you have. One of the advantages is that you can take that body of work and have that individual proposal that you can send out maybe to galleries that have been following you, people that have been looking at your work in the past. Well, it's a great opportunity to say, hey, you know, this is brand new body of work. Here's a quick proposal. Take a look at it. So that's one. Another reason why you should have an exhibition proposal or when is a good time to make one is if you have a curatorial idea. So if you have a curatorial idea in mind, uh, maybe uh, you have this uh, vision or this idea of something that you wanted to do as artist curator, it's a great time to do it then. You know, just get started, put together a well done exhibition proposal so that you can see that exhibition take place sometime in the future. You know, a lot of times I talk to artists who have this awesome, they say, hey, so you have this great exhibition idea and they tell me the idea and it's a fabulous idea, but they have, you know, it's been years and they have never written that proposal for that great idea that they have in mind. So that is a good reason if, uh, you know, if you have an idea to create an exhibition proposal. Another one is if you are offered an opportunity. What do I mean by that? So if you, let's say you go to an opening this Friday, right? You go to an opening and maybe you meet uh, a curator or the gallery or somebody that you're talking to who is interested in your art and that person tells you, well, send me, send me something, send me some information, let me see what you have, that's a great opportunity then to send them a well-drafted exhibition proposal. It's absolutely a great opportunity. And I cannot tell you how many times I have done that myself, where I meet someone uh, and you know, the next follow-up is just one PDF that has a proposal. And I cannot tell you how many great opportunities I have gotten because of that. Uh, another reason why you should make an exhibition proposal is also if you are applying for grants, for example, uh, the grant proposal in a lot of times is very similar to an exhibition proposal, although of course there are differences between the two, but if you get good at one, you will get good at the other as well. The more you spend writing about uh, proposals, about yourself, about your work, the easier it gets each time because you don't have to start from scratch. So if you are also planning on writing proposals, well, you know, might as well also do an exhibition proposal for yourself that you can use for other uh, galleries and art centers or museums, whatever you want to propose it to. So that's a great opportunity. And the last one, you know, why should you should make an exhibition proposal before I now get back to my breakfast <laughs> is if you are looking to approach galleries and museums. Again, if you're looking to approach galleries and museums, it's a great opportunity for you to create an exhibition proposal. And that's what I call a winning exhibition proposal, which is not your average proposal, but a winning proposal is one that has all the elements that make a winning proposal. And this is something that I've been passionate about, not only as a curator for the Jovier Center for the last uh, you know, few years, I've been looking at many proposals, some really good ones and some really bad ones. I've also served in committees of other centers and also reviewing proposals. It's something I love to do. And I have learned how to create a winning proposal for my own work that has given me great, great results this year. 
So if I want to have great shows in the next year and the next two years, I'm writing great proposals now so that those shows happen and I'm really busy for the next two years. So um, that's why. So if you're looking to approach galleries, museums, institutions, learn how to make a good proposal because a good proposal will help you ask the right way. A lot of times we don't get opportunities because we don't know how to ask. So a proposal does a lot of the asking on your behalf. So it's a great advantage to have a good, uh, what I call a winning exhibition proposal. And if you need help with that, here's an awesome resource. For the last, um, the last couple of years, I've been doing on and off an exhibition proposal, what I call uh, seven steps to creating a winning exhibition proposal live free webinar. And I've been doing that on and off. Well, last uh, mid-December, I started to do one or two every week up to now, which is, uh, over, which is the first day of February. So now I'm doing one or two a, a week, and I'm getting artists from all around the world who are coming to the live webinar to learn how to create a winning exhibition proposal. And it has been awesome. I mean, I had artists from all Latin America, from all over Europe. I had an artist last week from Iceland. I mean, I never thought about an Iceland artists coming to a webinar to learn how to create winning exhibition proposals and it's just been amazing the feedback that i've been getting from artists from around the world artists from africa from the middle east from asia from india i mean it's been awesome and of course all over the united states so it is definitely it's, it's something that you want to do in 2018 if you want to get good at writing exhibition proposals you gotta come to my webinar it doesn't cost you a penny. This is something I'm super passionate about, as you can see. I love um, exhibition proposals because I think they do help you ask the right way if you do it correctly. A lot of times we think that a proposal is all about me. You know, a proposal is only about me, but that is not true. And that's why you gotta come to my webinar and find out why a proposal is not only just about you, but it's also about the institution, or the gallery or the museum that you are writing it to. It's like talking to another person on the other side. One of the biggest mistakes that artists make is that we make a proposal and then we just send it to everybody. But that's not how it's done. You gotta customize it to where you're going to send it. And I'm gonna, I can show you that in my seven steps to creating a winner exhibition proposal. So if you wanna sign up for my webinar and join all the artists from around the world who are every week joining me and taking this course, uh, all you have to do is go to www.theartistnextlevel.com. Again, www.theartistnextlevel.com. And you will find there a, um, a link at the top for the seven steps to creating a winner exhibition proposal. It's a great webinar you can take. And my friends, I really think that you need to learn how to make great proposals so you can get great opportunities. How awesome will it be if in 2018, a lot of the artists who are learning how to make proposals get great shows for 2019 and 2020. Because here's the thing, if you wanna be busy in 20, what is it, right now 2018, if you wanna be busy in 2019 and in 2020, you gotta start now, this year, doing what it takes so that in 2018, you get the shows that you want. A lot of artists just wait and say, well, I wanna get really busy this year. I want to have great shows this year. Well, then you should have started last year. That's how it works. All galleries, museums, and institutions, everybody plans at least a year or two ahead. So if you want to have great things happening in the next two years, you got to start now. You got to take action now. So I hope you enjoy my uh, Breakfast with Sergio episode number one. And I'm going to get back to my old milk. It's getting cold and it smells so delicious. So I hope you uh, enjoy it. If you like this episode, please forward it, share it to a friend. Uh, it's going to go also in YouTube and some of my other social media. So thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody who was watching live. Really enjoy your company this morning as well. Good morning. Have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in episode number two. Bye.